<sighs> okay, me again. One and two more things. First of all, um, this is something humans need to learn. Nigga, I'm teaching you what the church seems to be shying from. So, if you religious, uh, nigga, you better listen, because a lot of you niggas is getting trapped out of heaven, because you don't know the shit you think you know that you ain't teaching, because you think you studied it. Okay, one. Y'all say the Bible stands for basic instructions before leaving earth. What about your goddamn Bible's basic? Half the shit in your Bible makes no goddamn sense. The other half is contradictory. And the other half, you start wars with it. Make fucking sense. Or just shut the fuck up. Because let me keep it a hundred with you. There's a lot of people who cannot pass away because y'all teachings and shit don't make no fucking sense to them. Little fact to you. You can't get in heaven if you live a fucking lie. Because living a lie equals a fucking regret that you're going to carry. A regret is a goddamn falsehood you got to deal with. In other words... I thought I was going to church, studying, reading, praying, doing all this extra shit. And then it comes time for God to call you. But you can't pass because you don't even know what the fuck is judgment day going to be like. Is God really who I read about? Is hell real? Is heaven real? All the tithing I did, did that shit really go to God or no? All the ministries and shit I did, were them for real or was I just doing it to please people? All the shit I did, the walk, the talk, is all that shit real? Everything I learned, is it true? You pass to get up to go be judged. And then you can't cross the fuck over because... You learned everything from your beliefs is a fucking lie. Next thing you know, you can't go to peace because now you get told by Jesus. Um, well, here's the problem. Uh, I love you and I forgive you, but, um, do you know the truth of, uh, up here? Do you know the truth of heaven? Do you know the truth of hell? Do you know the truth of me or God? Do you know anything about that? You tell him no, and he's like, oh, that's a problem. Mm. You're like, wait, why? Am I not going to get in heaven? He's like, no, you're going to get in, but before you get in here, you got to go to class. And yeah, there are classes. Anyway, um... Point being, y'all fucking fail to realize all the lies you tell people in church, temple, mosque, whatever, you're stopping people's ability to go to peace because they don't know shit about peace or what it actually is. And you can't cross over with lies on your spirit or regret. You you can't do that. That's a falsehood. You can't go in heaven like that. It It ain't gonna work. Because the kingdom of heaven ain't going to accept no lies or no bullshit, no regrets. Because heaven ain't built for that purpose. So, yeah. Not to say you won't get in, but before you go, you need to learn the truth about shit and have no regrets, big or small, no matter what the case. None. Absolutely none. So if you didn't do something, do it. You ain't learned something, learn the shit. If somebody trying to teach your ass the truth, learn it. Don't be oh, I've been learning it this way for this long, and I'm not changing the way out. Okay, don't do that shit. All right. <clears throat> you think you know everything. Oh, fucking K. You <laughs> it's a sad day when you someone who think can't nobody tell you shit. It's a sad day. And let me just say this here. Um... Fools hate correction, but wise people appreciate it. 
So you can tell if you're dealing with a fool or a wise person because you try to tell a fool something. They don't want to hear shit. You tell a wise man something. They accept it. Only difference. And me, myself, personally, I take this shit heavy. I don't take correction from a goddamn fool because you don't practice you don't practice shit that you preach so I don't take correction from you because you're a damn clown. Now I listen to your ass don't mean I hear you personally. Next thing humans need to also learn this shit. And there was some old ass teaching about it. And oh yeah, the only reason I listen to a wise person is because they actually practice what the fuck they preach. I don't listen to fools, my nigga, because I'm not one. I'm a lot of things, but a goddamn fool ain't one of them. Anyway. If you gon' seek revenge against your enemy, you better off digging two graves, if not two, four, six, eight, or ten of them motherfuckers. And I hope you got life insurance, because, um... You going after somebody just because they did you shady. Remember, retaliation don't stop. That's why the word re is in it. Re means to keep doing it. Just like, how should I say, killing somebody. You kill somebody. Somebody come back, kill your ass. Somebody come back and kill the person who killed you. Somebody come back and kill the person that killed them. Now somebody come back to kill that person, I killed that person, I killed that person, I killed that person, I killed, yeah, the shit don't stop. That's one thing people need to open their mind and understand. A bullet don't got a name, it don't got a face, it don't got an aim, it don't got a gender, it don't got a sexuality, it don't got a religion, it don't got a financial standpoint. Bullet don't care how educated you are, how strong you are, how t it don't give a fuck. A bullet got one purpose. A aim, a hit, and a kill. That's all. That's the only thing a bullet do. Move, hit, and strike some shit. Don't matter if it's a baby, old person, young person, black, white, gay, straight, rich, poor, intelligent, dumb as hell. A bullet don't got a fucking a mind. The bullet's controlled by the person if that person got a mind. Like, that's some shit I tried to tell my pops, but the boy, he the nigga too old to listen to dirt, dust, wind, and sand. He's too damn old to listen to some shit older than him. And I tried to tell him many a times, but he too damn old to listen. I'm like, you gonna piss off the wrong person one day? And somebody gonna come with that to your door? And you... <laughs> hmm... You gonna see what somebody gonna put that hollow tip to your dome and they gonna blow that shit off so you can see what you was thinking was some bullshit personally. And the retaliation keep going if a person fuck with you like that. If not, it might stop. Who who fucking know? But in the reality sense of it, that's why I've been trying to tell niggas for the longest. If you ain't tough. Don't be that way, because you're going to cross paths with the wrong motherfucker on the wrong day and get your shit blown off for trying to be some shit that you ain't. Then, you might be about that shit, but then you might meet someone who's more about that shit than you. Next thing you know, you're trying to prove how much of that shit you're about, now you're dead. That person might kill you, then kill themselves just to prove they bought that shit. Now you got funeral after funeral after funeral after funeral after goddamn funeral after goddamn funeral after goddamn funeral after goddamn funeral. And then you got a mom crying, a dad pissed off, one less family member alive. And uh, niggas need to learn because I learned this down through time because I lost a lot of friends due to people's dumbass actions and shit like that. Everyone's brain ain't wired the same fucking way. So, 
you could talk shit to one person, they may be like, hmm, you know what, that person ain't even worth the fucking time. And then you might, as the old school would say, you might fuck with someone that deserves a whole lot of leave alone. You say one thing to that nigga, his, his screws ain't tight. Now you dead because you didn't suck up your pride and just shut the fuck up and walk the fuck away. Because as the old school would go, you nigga, you, you could have just lived to die another day, but you want to be stubborn tough ass. Now you a stubborn dead tough ass. Because you thought you was Billy Badass, you met Billy Badass, he either beat your ass or killed you now. <laughs> yeah. That's why in life people need to learn when to shut the fuck up, when to talk. And that's it. Because, um, to put it to you in, in like terms. There was going to come a time when our death was so imminent and so, um, what's the word for it? What's the word for it? Um, come on, brain, bring the shit back to me. Um, so imminent and so, re oh yeah, reoccurring that people will stop be People won't have the ability to feel anything for it, so they'll just have to pretend like they do. And carry on. So, yeah, I'm just saying. Sometimes it's better to, to, to live to die another day than to just die that exact day that you could have lived to see another day on. But there's people that don't have a sense of reality, so they don't give a fuck. That's all I'm saying. See you.